Hi, welcome back to Chat with Chow. I'm Katie and today we're making a crispy Korean zucchini pancake. Whenever I visit a Korean restaurant, I always get the zucchini pancake. Now I know there's usually also a seafood pancake, but I love how clean and simple the zucchini pancake is when paired with a really flavorful Korean dish like kalbi or bulgogi. And I also love making this recipe at home because it's super easy to make and it's also really healthy. I'm starting off with two zucchinis and you can use a box grater to shred them or a flat grater, but I prefer to use my food processor because it's faster and less dangerous. I usually cut my hands a lot on those graters. We'll put the shredded zucchini in a bowl with some salt. The salt draws out the moisture from the zucchini. The salt and the zucchini need to hang out for about five or 10 minutes. So while we're waiting on that, we can slice up some onion and some scallions. It's been about 10 minutes and you can see that the liquid of the zucchini has started to come out. I'm using a thin cotton fabric and I'm going to put all the zucchini inside of this fabric and then we're going to squeeze out all the liquid. Now what this does is it makes sure that our zucchini pancake is nice and crispy later on. You can toss this liquid or you can use it in like a stock or something. Now let's get ready to make our batter. So first we're starting off with some Korean pancake mix. So what it is is it's basically a flour but mixed with some seasonings and a little bit of cornstarch for texture. And you can find it at any Asian grocery store. We're also adding in an egg and a little bit of water. The batter should be like a runny pancake batter consistency. Now we'll add in our shredded zucchini, our onions, and our scallions. Now depending on your other ingredients, you might need to add a little bit more flour or a little more water to get that perfect consistency. This looks good. So we're going to heat up our pan to a medium heat. Let's add some oil to the pan. Now carefully pour about half of our batter into the pan. And we're going to try to spread it as thinly as possible to make sure we can get a really thin and crispy pancake. To make sure this cooks all the way through, we're going to cook this cover until the bottom is nice and golden brown. All right, now this flipping part can be a little tricky. So a tip I learned is to slide it out onto a plate and then we'll take that whole plate and then just flip it over. Let's see how I do. One, two, three. Nice. Now we'll cook this other side until this side's golden brown as well. And we cook this for a couple minutes uncovered on this side and it smells so good. And we're ready for our last trick. We're going to drizzle a little bit of sesame oil all around the edges of the pan, just to help it give it a little more flavor. Oh, that warm sesame oil smells so good. You can see it starting to absorb into the pancake. I like to give it a little swirl. Ooh, sounds so crispy. And we're ready to plate it. Gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. Now, I normally just like to cut it into triangles just like at the restaurants and eat it with some homemade Korean barbecue. You can also make a really simple dipping sauce with this with a little soy sauce, a little rice wine vinegar, maybe some chili flakes. But I'm just going to eat it just like this. Ooh, oh, it's so hot. Let me get a little smaller piece. So crispy, it's golden brown on both sides. Mmm, did you hear the crunch? So flavorful. I love the onions and the scallions in there. It really adds to a really clean flavor of the zucchini. I really hope you enjoy this and whenever you make it, let us know. But thanks again for watching Chow with Joe.